Okay, uh, Rafi Salim is here with you guys. Uh, the question for today is, what is the best image quality probe? Which probe I should select to have the best image quality, or at least better image quality? Now, the thing is, we have to look for the, like, I repeatedly say that in my previous uh, videos, that the smaller the SPL, the shorter the wavelength, the shorter the, the length of one pulse is, the better the image quality. Now, where you can find that shorter SPL, that shorter wavelength, where we can find that? So easy and simple. The higher the frequency, the better the image quality. And the reason is because they will produce a shorter pulses, very small length pulses. We call it SPL, special pulse length. Now, try your best to use the higher the frequency. But here is a small problem. The problem is when we're using the higher the frequency, it cannot penetrate well. But at least if your probe, the operating frequency reach to the target tissue, just use it. Then on that case, don't look to the book what the book says, because we have to look for the experience and also the mechanism. So like, as I said, when, when we are using the higher the frequency, they have a short SPLs or the shorter wavelength they produce, the, the cycles are very squeezed to each other. So they bring a detailed picture for you. These pulses, will they hit the anatomy, the, the tissues inside, so they do not leave very small distances. The distance between the two structures, front and back, they will catch it and they will bring it. It means your picture and the anatomy inside your scanning, they will exactly match. There, there you will have very accurate imaging. You will have your diagnosis very close to, I can say, I cannot say 100%, but very close to 100%. Because if they use another modality like CT scan, MRI, or any other modalities, then your diagnosis and their diagnosis will match to each other. So please remember, if your operating frequency can reach to the destination, to the area, to that depth where you can, your t target tissue is, so use the higher the frequency. For example, if I scan, um, a small baby, somebody who is small for the body structure, and that's the abdomen. So instead of using the convex probe or the curvilinear probe, which is comparably low frequency compared to, for example, the linear uh, array transducer, which we use it mostly for the small parts, because if that five megahertz you use for abdomen, and that 12 megahertz, you use it for carotid arteries, thyroid tissue, superficial structures. So I will suggest strongly to use that 12 megahertz first. If that can reach to that abdominal structure where your target tissue is and that can scan it, do not use that low frequency. Use this 12 megahertz because your image quality will be better. Your diagnosis will be more accurate. So. The end of the day, our aim is, our target is to have better image quality. Better means detailed picture. The picture which is exactly taught like the anatomy is, which bring everything really like a reality from the, from the anatomy. And then uh, we can put our diagnosis on it. So once again, if this operating frequency, the higher the operating frequency can reach to that depth or to that destination where your target tissue is, please use the higher the frequency because it gives you more detailed picture. Thanks a lot and uh, have a nice day. Take care.